Okay, so this one, I'm talking about Huperzine A. It is a compound that's extracted from a Chinese club moss uh, called Huperzia serrata, if you're interested in that. But uh, anyway, so yeah, it is a natural compound. And uh, the, the main uh, method of action, mechanism of action, is that it is a acetylcholinesterase inhibitor. And uh, it also has, independent of that, it has some neuro, it, well, possibly has some neuroprotective properties too. So, basically, acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter that's associated with learning and memory. It, it's a well-known neurotransmitter, and acetylcholinesterase will, is an enzyme that degrades that. So... Huperzine A will inhibit the, reversibly inhibit, the degradation of acetylcholine. So, you have more of it floating around your synapses, making you all smart and shit. That's the basic theory behind it. And that is the main mechanism of action. Um, so we know it works very well for this. And in fact, there's prescription acetylcholinesterase inhibitors. Huperzine A, in, in a lot of measures, actually seems like it works better. It, in fact, it, it's, a, it's a more potent inhibitor of acetylcholinesterase. It crosses the blood-brain barrier better, has better bio, oral bioavailability. And uh, I thought there was something else, too. It has a pretty long half-life. Uh, and that's... So... I'm going to throw that in there. And uh, so you have to be careful. The bottom line with this is if you want to use it is you have to be careful with it because it does have a long half-life and it is such a potent inhibitor of acetylcholinesterase. If you want to experiment with this, keep all these three points uh, in, down. So it, it's it, no more than 50 microgram doses at a time. Uh, no more than once a day and no more than four times a week. It does have a very long half-life. Uh, in one study, I don't know how long they were giving it to them or, or you know how long this was going on, but like once they stopped, uh, this was still floating around in their systems for, like two days later. So I, I don't like I really don't know what that means because it's obviously going to depend how much they were giving them and how long that was going on. But I don't know something to keep in mind. Uh, so, I mean, a, a lot of people don't want to mess with it because it is uh, so potent. Uh, it, it's something that um, you might think would be a good treatment for Alzheimer's because they use this for Alzheimer's, but the reason that uh, it's not being widely used clinically at this point in time is because while the studies that have been done on it are good, like are very promising, they've been small, short-term studies. So. It, we, what we do know about it is it seems pretty safe in the short term, and there's a lot of promise. We know it's basic mechanism of action. We know it inhibits this enzyme, but we don't know long-term safety, and we don't know um, it, with the highest level of rigor the high, that, whether or not it's actually good clinically. So... It is something that you might want to play around with as a nootropic, but uh, just be careful with it. So, um, till next time, be safe and have fun.